Hello, Kelly. Thanks so much for being a part of our first grand opening show. Uh, you've been quite successful in doing both 2D and 3D work. Can you talk a little bit about that? Uh, my background is in 3D uh, sculpture, my undergrad that I got at Southeast Louisiana, getting my master's now at Houston Baptist, again in sculpture. And 3D has always just been easier for me to think through. Taking a 3D object as part of life and then building into it or changing it, you know, making a mess and breaking things and rebuilding. 2D is a little bit more of a challenge because you are taking something from 3D usually and then turning it into 2D. So that one, it's harder for me to think through, but it's a lot easier to sell. When people think of art, they're going to look for a painting or drawing something to put on their wall. Uh, but it's been, it's been a joy, not always easy, to do uh, the sculpture and now to begin teaching it as well. Well, say a few words about this particular piece, Mothers and Daughters. So this is one of my favorites, and it is actually my arms and my daughters. And we used the cast of our arms and then tied with ribbon and fabric, kind of the rainbow how similar we are, but how different, and the give and take that mothers and daughters go through with their lifetime and relationships. Kelly, this piece here is about lines and space, right? Yes. Uh, what I've done is I've used tree branches kind of from all over the Houston area, and then wrapped them in found fabrics and old fabrics that I had on hand to make kind of a colorful rainbow of a cloud of line. And it's been challenging when I didn't think it really would be, and that's kind of how art works, but it's become painting and drawing with color in the air. So each time you get a different perspective, and each time it moves, it's one of those sculptural things where you change one thing and it's a cascade effect that changes everything but it also gives people a very happy, uplifting experience rather than just the being able to walk around an object. They can participate a little bit more. They can, you know, within reason, move it. And it also becomes a little bit more of a mobile. Great. Um, this particular piece is titled Mirabella, uh, and it's charcoal on book pages. Correct. Tell us a little bit about it. Uh, well, I have a, being just from Texas and admiring all the culture we had here, it felt necessary to do this particular piece. Originally, it was for my father, so that he could, he passed away. I hope that he sees that this is being done. Uh, the name Mirabella is actually my daughter's middle name. And it also is significant. My husband and I were married on November 1st. But each one of the book pages, they're from several different books. They're going to relate to life and death, our love and relationships, and how we look at them, and how they affect our longevity and the causes in our, within our own life, as well as uh, materials and poetry that give you the light of love. Thank you. Kelly, this one is titled Chain Driven Heart, and it is a cast of your back. Yes. Right? This is a cast of my back. It is in a position for uh, bike racing, which is something I've done for years, and I haven't done it in a while. But it is essentially a plaster cast made into a mold, and it's my back in position of drop down speed, and then, but the other part of it is, it is actually bike chain, mm -hmm. and it is heavy, so it's got a steel armature underneath, and it gives the impression of just an object, but then when you realize what it is, it also becomes human in a form that's a little bit more abstract, a 
little bit more rough, but still has the edges, some that are managed and polished. Well, it's certainly a wonderful self-portrait. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, I try to keep them partial so that not everybody sees everything, even when it's also, they can see the inside, which can be a little unnerving, but important for everyone. Well, thank you, Kelly. Um, our show is up until September 27th. We are open regular hours. We're at La Santera at Cinco Ranch in Katy. So if you're in the area, please come check it out.